white ray. I'm just sharing our understanding of it. And hopefully that will offer some value. Correct right? uh, yeah. Hi, my name is Russ Lateau. I'm the founder of the Healing Center and Convergence Reiki, and this is another episode of Ask the Expert. So I guess the first question I should answer is, so what makes me an expert and in what areas we're talking about? Well, for the last 10 years, I would like to say that I've been a uh, passionate, determined, uh, probably some people would say obsessed student of, of life, you know, really. And, and specifically, how do we take this, I think often, you know, a theoretical and floofy, you know, term called spirituality and, you know, like things like meditation and energy healing and, uh, you know, oh, I don't know, vortexes. I mean, there's there's just an, an infinite number of topics and areas that, that we can study and learn from. But most importantly, how do we take these philosophies and apply them here, right? Like today. You know, not not just when we're you know sitting in a I don't know a cave on a mountainside you know kind of going oh you know but but how can we apply them today when you're going to work when you're at work you know at home and, and just how do you apply them practically and the whole theme of the Ask the Expert series and it's there's video blogs like this we also have some radio broadcasts and I'll just give you a, a quick website and we'll flash it up on the screen if you go to www.healingcenter dot ca and that center spelt c-e-n-t-e-r dot c-a you can actually scroll down and, and you'll see a graphic entitled ask the expert so if you click on that you can actually um, visit well like the archive of this show as well as our, our past archives our radio programs our audio programs and also if you wish to ask a question because really the fundamentals of these these programs are to answer your questions and so for this program, the question that we're answering, and this is specific to, uh, to Reiki. And so in a nutshell, Reiki is an energetic healing modality from Japan. And actually in answering the question, I will explain a little bit more about what, what it is and, and, and how it works. Okay, so the question that was asked was, do we need to, uh, must we ask for permission before giving, and again, for our purposes and for this question, a Reiki treatment. Now, I found that this question is, is one of the ones that you will see quite a bit of diversity on the understanding of it and how it's practiced. I am going to share with you the way we understand it, the way we practice it, and the way we actually teach it. And, and probably more importantly, I'm going to share the best that I can why we have that understanding and then having said all this what's most 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 important is what resonates with you okay so i am not trying to say this is the only way or this is the only white way i'm just sharing our understanding of it and hopefully that will offer some value to you and give you a foundation that you can choose from okay so uh, the short answer to that question is no you do not have to ask for Reiki or ask a person uh, for permission to give a Reiki treatment. Now, if they agree, if they are in resonance, I know that's kind of a floofy word, but if they're in agreement with it, then it will undoubtedly enhance the treatment, but it is not in our perspective and in our practice, a prerequisite or a, a must, you know, have to ask before we give a treatment. And the fundamental reason why is this. There is only one, and now these aren't gonna be accurate statements, but just kind of uh, bear with me here and it, it builds a foundation from which we're gonna go forward from there. There's only one side effect, if you will, of you know too much Reiki or applying it in the wrong situation or you know something like that. And that only side effect is nothing, right? So the worst that can happen if you try it is nothing 
And, and that's the foundation of why in our practice, you do not have to ask for permission. So why is the worst that can happen? Nothing. Here's how I explain it. So in, in our studio right now, let's say I had a book of matches and I, you know, I took the, a match out and I lit the match and you know, we could, you know, we could uh, like watch the match burn, you know, and it would burn, 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 and, and that'd be it, right? Now let's take this same studio, fill it full of natural gas or propane, and light the same match. Now I think we can all agree there's going to be a very different outcome, <laughs> isn't there, right? And, and going back to my example of if it's just the studio the way it is now, I mean, we can light match after match after match. You can light, you know, a little blowtorch. I mean, it wouldn't really matter, right? In, in most respects, it's not going to have the same effect as one little match if the room was full of propane gas. Well, that's the, ray, the way Reiki works. Reiki is a catalyst for the healing process. We call it a balancing, but for our purposes here, the healing process to happen. But it doesn't actually do the healing. It's a catalyst for the effect. The, the healing is the effect. Now, just like with our match and, and the, the studio here, if the environment in this case, if let's say it's a person that you're working on, right? If the environment isn't conducive for whatever reason, right? If it's not conducive to that effect happening, just like with our matches here, you could, you know, like match after match after match after match and nothing is going to happen, right? What do we control? What do we have control of as Reiki practitioners? Well, the match, right? You know, and ensuring that it's the you know, sort of the, the brightest matched and the cleanest burning, <laughs> that kind of thing. What do we have very, very little control over? The environment, right? The person, the, the place, the thing, or the event, whatever we're working with and whoever we're working with, that environment, we have very little control over it, right? All we do is supply the catalyst. And because of that, and kind of just, like you said, going back to what I mentioned, the worst that can happen is nothing because it doesn't matter how much catalyst we provide. If the environment isn't there, nothing's going to happen. So to sort of sum it up, the reason why we feel and we practice that you don't have to ask for permission is that very reason. We're simply offering the catalyst, offering the catalyst, offering the catalyst. And we don't know what's going to happen, right? But we know the worst that can happen is nothing, <laughs> right? It's, the, it's that other environment, right? And, and it doesn't do anything other than sort of add that catalyst to help that healing process take place. But if the environment isn't there for it, it isn't going to matter if we walk around with our Reiki blowtorch, <laughs> you know, it, it's not going to have the effect. So do you have to, must you ask for permission when you give a Reiki treatment in our experience, in our practice, the way we teach it, no, you do not have to. And I've explained our reasons why. Again, you know, don't get in an arm wrestling match with somebody if they say, well, yes, you must, or no, you mustn't, right? Because like with everything, and this kind of comes back to the practicality, what are the results you're getting, right? But what fits for you? Because for us, that's what matters, right? Are you being effective, right? And if you're being effective as a Reiki practitioner, then just keep doing it. <laughs> You know, and, and that's what's so important. If for you, you know, asking that permission just really seems to sort of amp everything up, well, then I think you should keep doing it, right? But understand that whether you do or whether you don't, it's not so much based on someone else's, you know, right or wrong, right? It is based on your own understanding, your own observation, and your practice. Excellent. My name is Russ Lateau, as I said, founder of the Healing Center and Convergence Reiki. I would love to hear your questions or comments. As I said, if you go to our website, healingcenter.ca, center is spelled C-E-N-T-E-R dot C-A, you can scroll down the page, click on Ask the Expert. I would love to hear your questions, your comments, any topics you would like me to cover on an upcoming episode. All right, you have a good day. Right, right. I'm just sharing our understanding of it, and hopefully that will offer some value. Uh,
politically correct inconveniences, right? And, you know...